With today's decision, millions of Arizonians will soon face an even more extreme and dangerous abortion ban than they did before. Amanyo spam e ya dia bia e wiase akona nyina eso e bai na yekukuru konso e wo oman bia eso ne sa enti e ye oman bia afade e so be ma amanyo spam aye ne hia spam nyame ya doma december 7th e wa fie mu gana man e ko to aba e ji ne mampanini tanso e na nyame ya doma november busu me ba be remu yi united states americans so e be to aba e ni mampanini fofuro na en sem a ene no every united states of america for about so mu e na me de e be so mu e was a particular edition of aye pai muka jumedi so mess rest o won cover bia o be say ke to start channel you know what show be to say ha no e ni ehia ni e fata na de sem ko na e de bre wa high give us online media mess rest so be like a channel you be subscribe na for media din friend abraming at the comment section o e mu me am na me de be so mu me di and the fp ya wengi Always me play on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, me na. And give us online media. A drink we better run on this and you may be able to move. Give us herbal sense of fuck up and we'll swam back on the thing. And say, give us. GC comes on and make sure you know it's a wooden stone tenton. So what you saw, and I say, yeah, I'm not even sure myself. Bear man, I know I'm a community about so think a bunny be. Oh, what he feel on my mistress. So we paid maybe at all. No one know what's me at all. No one saw called pharmacy. Herbal shops. Yeah, so no be a was so forgive us. GC captain and mission of your home better no dear dance tape. Yeah, it's a dance thing now. You're more right and seven moon cook him on a new idea. United States of America, me are the man that some November was in the suit a year, November was me a day in the mean. And I hear United States for a two by him on penny for fro. The star in T will be at the man of stem air to the emperor Ghana has seen a bar. Me did I a chest of wine. And the winner of the case, the NSA, I saw. I no a party being stronghold. I had no a party being stronghold. Stand up of you, US, and so on. It's here. I did buy a quoi. It did he need a yes, I buy money on some and I saw one single US, a religion, which was some. So we are Christoni, so we are Cremoni, so we religion. And it did him a way a brooch, and it's a US for one man of the moon. Nessa ain't a brutal for an answer, make us say, and send drop one moment on it. I say, I say, I so. Why any bit me the president of wine and it's on a swap bar? Be in the empono, a year was so quiet and so on. So I'm a part and answer for Bonnie Bay and a war. A way, yeah, but when a month for you about two or November was the minimum. Mommy and go ahead, video is Kakana to your bar. You give it to us. It's easy to think of America as a religious country, but faith here is actually declining. In the 90s, around 90% of Americans identified as Christian. Now, more than a quarter say they have no religion. This shift could prove significant to the election because non-religious people are more likely to vote Democrat. In fact, a Pew survey revealed that 70% of non-religious voters align themselves with the Democratic Party. But religion is not fading at the same rate across the whole of America. In some states, like Florida, it's actually getting stronger. So, while Democrats are making gains in some less religious states, they're also losing voters in other, more conservative parts of the country. And this becomes pretty key when you look at the swing states that determine the outcome of the presidential election. This map, based on the 2020 census, shows how religious different states in the US are. The darker the state, the more religious. You can see that the Deep South is more religious than the North, something which has always been the case for America. Utah and Idaho are a darker shade because of the high proportion of Mormons in those states, while the Northeast, including New York and Massachusetts, looks fairly dark. This changes when you look at specific religious denominations. For example, if we look at evangelical Protestants, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi and Alabama become much darker. This is what's called the Bible Belt of America. 
Catholicism is higher in the southwest and northeast areas, known for their concentration of Irish, Italian and Hispanic families. When compared to the 2010 census, you can see that the southwest, which is close to the border with Mexico, has become more Catholic. This is likely due to the increasing number of Hispanic immigrants in these areas. Protestants, the largest single religious group in the United States, mostly aligned with the Republican Party. White evangelicals are overwhelmingly Republican, and research suggests this group is highly motivated to vote. 84% of black Protestants identify with the Democrats. Just over half of Catholic voters are more likely to vote Republican. Again, it's important to consider race in this. While white Catholics are more Republican, 60% of Hispanic Catholics identify with the Democrats. Three quarters of Mormon voters align themselves with the Republican Party. In contrast, about 7 in 10 Jewish voters associate with the Democrats. That's increased by 8% since 2020. 66% of Muslim voters say they are Democrats or that they lean Democratic. And 70% of religiously unaffiliated voters, as mentioned earlier, align with the Democratic Party. The alignment is even stronger for agnostics or atheists. The main thing to pay attention to is swing states, states which could swing Republican or Democrat. These states determine the overall result of the US presidential election. In the 2020 US election, seven states were won by less than three percentage points, a very tight margin that could change this year. These states were Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, North Carolina and Nevada. These were all won by Biden in 2020, apart from North Carolina, which Trump won. However, in the 2016 elections, Trump won all of these states apart from Nevada. So which way are they likely to swing now? If we look at trends from the 2010 to the 2020 census, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania and Georgia are trending less religious, while North Carolina, Nevada and Arizona became more religious. If we go with the rough trend that less religious states are more likely to vote for the Democrats and more religious states are more likely to vote for the Republican Party, this makes the race to the White House really tight. One more move or vote the amount wow, PBM, yes, so as to economy, no, a him for party here in. Now, once a quiet and so abandoned for my own, a dinner manifesto, no, a tragging, a dinner one can come to woo ye, a dear chest of one year break after your small one, a baby, Nessa, a internal tram, ya or only a US man pinna that I will know so, and a Republican war nominee for a yes, our bats we will know, and after Kamala Harris. One of the United States of America for Vice President, I want to know eight in a Democrat when you name him. Say, I'm so bad, man. No, no, so my man, Penny, it will unite us of America. Yeah, so when you know, and some of you to the minimum say abortion, a year. Who will see abortion and so, and you may me bar, my brother, so we see me bar, and so, me and Brenner, my mother, for his son's abortion, and go on my yard, my papa. Young person, I'm out for more of your children, so more fans of me, and see your bar. One of the main policies that could have a huge impact on the US vote is the abortion issue. In June 2022, the US Supreme Court overturned the constitutional right to choose abortion, known as the Roe v. Wade ruling, leaving the decision to individual states. So I want to start by addressing some devastating and alarming news from the Arizona Supreme Court. With today's decision, millions of Arizonians will soon face an even more extreme and dangerous abortion ban than they did before. As a result, 14 of the 50 US states banned abortion at all stages of pregnancy, with incredibly limited exceptions. Four have banned it past roughly six weeks of pregnancy. 
Underlying the ban was the religious belief that human life begins at conception and that unborn children have a right to life. Murder is not a right! You don't have a right to murder people! It takes three to five days for that baby to die. Before then, abortion had been legal across America for almost 50 years. We are the of and we the While the ruling was celebrated by some Republicans and Christian conservatives who wanted to ban abortion, opinion polls show that the majority of Americans actually support abortion access. And this includes many Christian Americans. In fact, a Pew survey from 2022 found that apart from white evangelicals, the majority of Christians support access to abortion. Surprisingly, this even includes 56% of Catholics, even though the Catholic Church opposes all forms of abortion. Democratic nominee Kamala Harris has come out in strong support of abortion rights across the country. Ours is a fight for the future. And it is a fight for freedom. Like the freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government tell her what to do. And if he wins, Donald Trump will go further. He will sign a national abortion ban. You best believe. Meanwhile, Republican nominee Donald Trump appointed three of the six U.S. Supreme Court justices who helped overturn Roe v. Wade back in 2022. While he has called the ruling a great thing, he's softening his stance on harsh abortion bans. There's an abortion-related amendment on yeah. the ballot to overturn the six-week ban in mm -hmm. Florida. How are you going to vote on that? Well, I think the six-week is too short. I am going to be voting that we need more than six weeks. I believe in exceptions for life of the mother, if, if you look, incest rape. Trump's position doesn't exactly align him with the conservative Christians who want to ban abortion nationwide. He has to tread a fine line, as he's heavily reliant on their vote. Both candidates know abortion could be key in this race. A recent poll by the Public Religion Research Institute has found that nearly two-thirds of residents in swing states think abortion should be legal in all or almost all cases. We and in some me me who no say a brochure and I'm say United of America no. We no air her so a dia to a bed the imam peni ni admin of bus na de ni ni. Aso wa wo she me so wa brochure who be as wo US who be. Now so fatasa wo to a ban and why and a wo to man who no say or some kind of. And when you say that was so much, and I was saying that you were going to be able to do it, and you were going to be able to do it, and you were going to be able to give us online media. Make sure to be subscribe, babe. Give a like it. Now, if you watch the video, I did a mommy. And after that, and my giver, GC, I have a message that I told you to send to me. Who do you talk? Now, the engineer, I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Make sure to be able to say, give us. GC, I have a message that I told you to send to me. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok.